The U.S. Constitution, which was ratified on June 21, 1788, opens with the preamble. You might recognize this from your school days, and it goes a little something like this. We, the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity. Do ordain and establish this Constitution for the United States of America. You might think that this was all figured out with the founders of the USA, and that, like a good movie trailer, was put in there to give a quick summary of the entire Constitution. It's a lot more complicated than that. Preambles, or prefactory texts that spoke to why the legal document was important, were very common at the time the U.S. Constitution was being written, and had been for over a hundred years. Even those famous words, we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, was a kind of preamble to the Declaration of Independence in 1776. Even though they were common, not much thought had been given to the U.S. Constitution getting this kind of prefactory text. It wasn't until the first drafts of the Constitution were being written that anyone even proposed the idea and started a debate on which should include how long, what purpose beyond tradition it may serve. And it was generally agreed at the time that the preamble was added that there was no intent to make the preamble part of the legal effect of the Constitution and more just the intent of the overall document's creation. And it was argued that with the inclusion of the Bill of Rights, this might be redundant or vice versa. We may not even need the Bill of Rights since we're going to include the preamble. And at the very least, the preamble was going to add additional confusion that could be avoided. In the end, of course, they decided to include the preamble. And since the ratification of the U.S. Constitution, the preamble has seen little role in courts. But the role it did play has mostly been in the earliest years after, after the Constitution was ratified. Today, courts generally look at the preamble as a way to decipher two competing readings of constitutional law, but otherwise it holds a minimal role. In politics, you might hear it a lot more commonly because it's a lot easier to read something from the preamble than it is to decipher and read something from the rest of the Constitution. You might also be wondering then, what's the point? It's generally agreed that the preamble does establish a few good viewpoints when you're reading the rest of the Constitution. One, where does the power of the federal government come from? That's the people. Its goal, which are the points listed like establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, etc. And third, the time this Constitution would be law for, to ourselves and our posterity. To that last point, the U.S. Constitution was designed to be a permanent legal document, which bucked the trend at the time of having laws dictated by the whims of the current parliament, leader, or family who held power. And I'll just wrap up with this fun fact. Although the preamble begins the Constitution of the United States, it was actually the last article to be added. This video is brought to you by Caffeine Zombies. Coffee's so good, it'll wake the dead.